Hello friends. I just had my prearranged live go uh, pear-shaped on me. So I am hoping that you will find me anyway. I'm going to bet that that doesn't happen. That's a little frustrating. Hey, you guys did find me. I'm so sorry. So the last, uh, I when I went live with the prearranged event, it, uh, it came up as portrait instead of landscape, and I am filming this landscape, so I had to back out because Facebook, uh, no, I'm lying, because YouTube Live won't let you change the uh, alignment, rotation, whatever of your... Uh, of your film once you press go. So today we are working on something very special. Uh, during the Halloween season, kind of at the beginning of it, I had a friend uh, and a subscriber, Sarah, ask me to design a Manny with um, certain features. She wanted it to come from the Victorian plate and the apothecary plate from Moyu London. So I'm showing you this because this is the Manny we're going to do today, but I am doing it on square nails because I know there are a lot of people who have shorter nails and would still like to be um, involved with this Manny. But I do, of course, have the picture of this, so if you want to follow this as more of a guideline, uh, feel free, and I've posted this all sorts of places. I think including in my Instagram. If not, I'll get that handled real soon. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is stamp the moth three different times. You know, I may, I may go ahead and just do two different times. Uh, when I choose to do it like this and I do it three different times, it's just for insurance because I know that one of my reverse stamps is going to screw up. Everybody can hear me, right? And you ask any questions if you have any questions. So I... I really did have something to say. Oh, the plates. Goodness gracious me. Okay. So, oh, that's awesome. Okay, so um, here, first plate we're using is, this wasn't requested, but I love this Death's Head Moth. So the Halloween collection is 15. This was kind of what inspired me for the whole look. Okay, and then this one is the Apothecary Halloween plate that I got just a few weeks ago, and I was so excited for this one. Um, it, it is very much my aesthetic. <laughs> and um, Halloween Collection number 18 is this plate from OU London, and this is a plate I've had since last year or the year before. This is Halloween 04. I think it was last year. This is the one we're calling Victorian. There's a lot of Victorian era art here. And I think I use this moth and this moth um, as well as, well, maybe that is all that I use from there. So, but anyway, there are several different flying creatures to use on this design if you so choose to this can this design can of course be tweaked if you want so first things first I'm going to stamp this uh, guy I'm going to stamp it in whiskey latte which is a hit the bottle um, hit the bottle stamping polish now I'm doing this real time so I do understand if you will need to bow out due to any other developments you have in your day. Okay. So this would normally be fine, but I, I think I can get a better pickup. I don't like the fact that that line there didn't. Well, you know what? No reason to mess with it since I really don't have to. So I'll just draw that in. This is a strategic tack that I take when I have a lot of stamping to do if I happen to mess up something I will sometimes oh no okay so now I have done it <laughs> this is what gets gets me every time I, I use tape when I have these latex gloves on I mean don't 
don't yell at me. I think I'm just going to take them off. Uh, my hands look awful. I'm having a flare up. Everything's infected. But you know what? I really want to get this right quickly because we have so much to do. All right. Here we go. I'm going to clear this off with some acetone. How is everybody tonight? Did you get my notification earlier? I was hoping that it looks like we have a number of you here, and I'm really happy that you've joined us. I was hoping that announcing it a little bit earlier was the right decision to get more people having fun with me. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I am going to kind of put more stamping polish on it than I normally would just because it gave me a little bit of a problem, right? So, and I'm also going to maybe do this landscape instead of portrait as far as the stamping goes. And one, and one, I messed that up. Oh, good. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, this is the real stamping, though. When something screws up, and then you spend seven or eight minutes trying to make it all good. And I'm shaking the table. Sorry, I just... I just but bur bust. I just hit my head on the light, which is fun. Most of this, in order to see, I have to be standing up. So that is why sometimes I get a little clumsy during these videos. Oh, good God. Okay, I'm going to put this in the freezer for a second. This is a uh, trick that I use. When something is really misbehaving, it is about, the theory behind this is, oh no, my phone is doing this thing again where it says rotate device. Okay. Oh big, oh boy. We're just having all sorts of adventures, aren't we? Okay. The bloopers are gonna be kept in. This is how this works. All right, so I'm gonna, I, I do have a microphone that stays on me, so you should still be able to hear my voice. I'm just gonna put this in the freezer for a couple minutes while I attend to the blue treatment. So I'm gonna just put the timer on for five minutes so I don't forget it. And now I'm gonna change the blue to match what I did in this Manny. All I did was I took the navy and the uh, sinful colors endless blue here and I used one of my little two liter bottle caps that I save again please please don't ignore my inflamed hands all right so there's that but also I'm putting a bunch of that in here here's the royal blue that's coming in or maybe this is a, a little bit ultramarine kind of a little bit of cobalt there's a hair on the brush, and I had to get that off. All right, so now I'm gonna take one of my pre-cut sponges. These are sponges that I get at the Dollar Tree. They're the kind that, the big kind that you wash your car with. I just uh, put a little bit of um, X-Acto knife. I use an X-Acto knife to, uh... I'm, just, I'm just looking for kind of a speckled look. And it looks like I need more more ultramarine. Maybe only ultramarine. I'm trying to watch the almost trying to watch the screen so that I don't miss anybody's questions if you have something to ask. So here we go. It's a very subtle effect, but I liked it on the previous set I did because once it mattifies it actually gets a little bit more noticeable and I will be mat mattifying this set. I just find that when you're doing a vintage look it just kind of appeals uh, or it just kind of appears more vintage if you do that. If you do that, uh, what's the word? So there we are and you'll see some of that when we're totally done. I'm going to close these guys up. I will tell you what I'm using. I don't know that you'll be able to get them. This one is Endless endless Wear. Okay, and then it says it's Opening Night. 
And this one, of course, is Sinful Colors Endless Blue. So many people love this one that um, it's talked about a lot in various groups. All right, so now what I'm going to do, because I will be stamping onto these nails, is I'm going to top coat these probably with my junk top coat because this isn't the final look. And you'll notice that I have painted my middle finger nail, the one that goes on my middle finger, kind of an ivory color or like an acru. And that is because we are doing some interesting color play. We have the center uh, image, right? But also the wings will be in a different color. So, and that's why I wanted to get that one going. I didn't put this here either. And I'm going to show you so that I can ignore it later. I, I'm going to show you what polishes I used for the middle finger. When I do a real-time mani, I do find myself wanting to uh, fill up the silence. And uh, I have told a couple of stories during videos. Okay, so here is this, and I combined this uh, Essie. You notice it has a, like a blue iridescence. That's why I chose it to go with these. But it didn't, you couldn't really see the white stamping that I did it. I did a newsprint. So I'm, I'll show you that in just a second. But I, it didn't show up very well. So I combined it with this, which is Coco Bay. Whoops. Coco Bay from Sinful Colors. Let's focus there, shall we? Well, it's sticking its tongue out at me, but I'm going to put these aside. All right. Uh, now we have done all of the top coat for that speckled look that will only appear at the end. Um, now I'm going to... Oh, nine seconds left. That was perfect timing. I'm going to get this out of the out of the frying pan into the fire is not what that means. I'm going to take this out of the freezer. Turn off the alarm. I do I do apologize. I, I tend to do this in longer... It takes me longer these days because I have really, really great uh, ADD. And... Um, Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sarah, you're right. So I'm going to tell you about one of the um, one of the stories I kiss. Well, since this is this was a Manny I did for Halloween. Uh, so one of the stories I grew up next to a graveyard um, and the church was across the street. So we didn't really grow up next to the church. That might have been more helpful. OK, see how better how much better this stamped after coming out of the freezer. It's like a whole new stamp. So I'm going to clean this off. So the thermal expansion thing is that when your metal gets hot, it expands, right? And then when it gets cold, it contracts. And the thing about the contracting is that it's going down, so it's making those little engraving lines a little bit deeper. And when it expands, it makes those engraving lines so much shallower. So I've been in a hot kitchen. I did cook in this kitchen earlier. I'm pretty sure the plate just kind of had a personal moment of, of weakness and didn't, didn't particularly stamp well. So now I'm going to do this in navy blue because we have two. Nope, this is not the navy blue. I am concerned that I have misplaced my Navy Jones's locker from Hit the Bottle. Okay, please, 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 please come out and play with us. The sound effect is me. Ah, here we go. I found it. All right. So let's talk my graveyard. So we have, um, I don't know, probably there are a, a couple hundred 
people um, buried there. And it, it looks like a newer graveyard. But one interesting thing is that uh, there is a, um, an older graveyard down the hill. So there's a, there's a street that separates them. But that older graveyard is right by, um, actually, it's right by a, a cave, a creek and a cave that was used to uh, smuggle alcohol during the Prohibition. So, and that's, that's fun. We usually, they take kids on the tour of, of that cave. Uh, it's pretty fun. Um, but anyway, so speaking of the various things that have happened to me in that house, living right next door to a cemetery. And it, it was worse than that because I was a very rebellious teenager. And the place that everybody picked me up for us to go sneak out in the 90s was the cemetery parking lot. And so I saw some weird stuff. I've seen orbs in the, in the actual graveyard. Um, now, they were a little bit bigger than orbs are traditionally are from, like, the ghost shows that I've watched, although I don't watch a lot of that. Um, and I always tried to go find what grave they would be kind of over, but that never really worked. Usually the person picking me up arrived and I didn't want to inconvenience them by insisting that we go ghost hunting. <laughs> ghost hunting wasn't so popular in the 90s, although those haunted hotels episodes certainly were on like the travel channel and stuff back when everybody had cable. All right. It looks like I've bored some of you. That's okay. I will get more interesting soon. Um, so there was this one time I was, uh, I had just, uh, finished school and I was working at a fabric where uh, a fabric store and the son of the dude who was the new manager uh was his name was steve and we like instantly fell oh thanks ella uh instantly fell in love like it was super super quick and he was 17 and i was 18 and a half and it wasn't too bad of a an age range and um <laughs> we uh we parked <clears throat> parked um Every Sunday when my family was at church up at the graveyard parking lot. Oh, my goodness. The things you do. Anyway, so we used to have this ritual where we'd kind of, you know, um, be on the phone with each other until we until we uh, until we were going to go to sleep. There are still I know there. This was much more popular before there was like internet and texting and all this. But couples would sometimes just love each other so much that they kind of wanted to listen to each other's voices as they fell asleep. So I, I can't find, oh no, here it is. So instead of using the Wet n Wild, which I've had trouble finding and so I'm feeling more hesitant about recommending because it is what you use for decals that are good or, or reverse stamping that's good. But I have also had some luck with Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails Shine. I think it's just the clear, crystal clear. And I've had some good luck with that, so I'm gonna go ahead and start these reverse stamp processes because it does take some time. So you're always gonna to wanna to start that at the beginning of your mani. Maybe you will paint the, paint your nails, let them dry with the quick dry top coat and then one thing that you have to worry to watch for when you put on something like this to protect the stamp while you paint it. One thing you have to watch for is to make sure that you don't put enough so that it disperses the polish because that will happen sometimes if you put too much. Oh, that's so cool, Sarah. Yeah. So sometimes students, that's good. We'll still uh, fall asleep with each other. I like, I like the sentimental stuff like that. Anyway, so I was in the living room, which isn't where I sleep, but it was a beautiful full moon outside and I could see it from my, our window. We had one of those like full living room windows. There, that's all right. I thought I'd smeared it. It wouldn't really matter if I'd smeared it because I need the wings only for the whiskey latte uh, color. And again, these are both... Um, these are both hit the bottle polishes. I'm pretty sure, uh, except for the pink, it's all hit the bottle for this Manny. 
And now I'm gonna do the, our first stamping on the actual nail. We're gonna get our apothecary plate and we see there is some newsprint here, some headlines. These sorts of things are used a lot in multimedia art pieces. I love them. So I'm gonna take, um, this is called Moonshine by Hit the Bottle. Let's please focus today. Oh my goodness, whatever. So um, as I stamp this, I'll continue my story. Uh, <laughs> we were talking and I was really fading. And then we heard steps. Oh, that's cool, Ella. Full moon tomorrow and a lunar eclipse. So let me show you what I'm doing. I don't have a lot of space here. I'm, I'm taking this image and I'm taking it in white. Let's hope it shows up a little bit better than on the original Manny. All right. We have a failure. That is a failure. Failure to launch. <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I heard footsteps on the stairs. Now the stairs, it's a weird kind of a setup, the house. Um, the stairs were kind of blocked by a door so and the door went into the kitchen so the you know that's how you access the basement i have probably used too much of this moonshine um it is an older one so i'm actually going to get the um maniology version of this but i do recommend the what's the word i'm looking for i do recommend the the hit the bottle one more are we serious? Have I lost it? Oh my goodness. <sighs> so frustrated. Okay, I guess. I guess I don't have it. So there is a frosty white that I have of miniologies, but it's not here. So I'm going to go ahead and do it in this kind of um, rosy, rosy gold so that it'll just kind of, let me try one more time. I'm shaking it really hard. If I have to put this one in the freezer, I'm going to be so mad. Okay, see, this is plenty of polish. It should work. And one swipe one roll, one success, one stamp. All right. And it is just sort of a background. We don't really have any situation where we can read the words, but once it mattifies, that will look pretty cool. So let me get my things back together. I'm kind of happy that I wasn't able to find the that other white polish because I do really like to support Hit the Bottle. It's a woman-owned business and she is the mo the sweetest person. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and top coat this right now. These long form, ah, <laughs> totally wrong nail, unrelated to what we were just doing. Um, anyway, so I heard footsteps on the downstairs. And I knew that the, um, oh my goodness, I think we have an intruder. Uh, does anybody know how to get rid of these spammy people? Um, remove. Um, Goodness gracious. Maybe it's all deleted. Somebody, somebody say something. This guy's come in and he said some really, really spammy things. I'm hoping he's gone. All right. So now that that rudeness happened, Oh, good. Well, I, I know it deleted them, but I I didn't know if report, like, because I wanted to report. I didn't know if report would actually remove them, too. I hate that people.
people can just come into your life and say awful things or spammy things or whatever. You know, it's dumb. I didn't know that was something that could happen until just now. Oh, well, we live and we learn. All right, so I did, I think I did top coat this. Now I'm going to put one more coat on each of these. And I this time I am going to use this. This is softer than anything else that I use. So, and I really do love this. But since I'm going to cut up the Acru um, Moth, I will be putting uh, two more coats on him than I will put on the blue, if that makes any sense. Because we need it to be thick enough so that it can survive scissors and not crumple in on itself. So whenever I'm gonna do any um, reverse stamp manipulation and these are the kinds of scissors that I use. Uh, Sarah will probably notice that these are <laughs> embroidery scissors. Uh, anyway, but so these are going to be set aside again. And now we start building the structure of our Manny. So the last time I used a, let's use one of these. So I follow the brief of the project. Let's use this guy again. And I'm going to do this in um, satin blush, which is what I used. But satin blush isn't available anymore. So I do also recommend, well, why don't I use this? H. La Cosadora's um, Pink Tuesday. So uh, that way I'm not recommending a discontinued <laughs> or not using a discontinued, what's it called? All right. Just one swipe and a roll. And did it go? It didn't go. That is, I'm sure, my fault. Issues stamping are usually operator error. Um, it's really easy to get it just sort of not quite right. But I am going to try to tell you the rest of the story that I have to tell you. I'm going to go ahead and try him again. I was considering not using him again, but I don't think I should fire him just for my problem. Did we get it? We didn't quite. It's still that same area. I'm going to put it in the fridge. Oh, goodness. No, freezer. All right. One thing is you got to put a bunch of extra acetone when you're having misbehaving stamps. Oh my goodness. Eye makeup, Wendy. That sounds awesome. I, wow. That would be so much fun. I mean, that's, I really wish I had a daughter. Um, so here we go. I don't think that I did the one Mississippi thing on this image and I should have. It's very fine lines. So let's try now. And we got it. Those little tiny adjustments really do matter. So over here, I'm going to use this guy. And put it down here. Because I do still want to have that multi kind of media look here. So I want, I want another image here. But these are shorter nails than I worked with before. So now I'm going to do the palm, this palm here on the index finger. So let's move it right along. And this time I'll remember to use my one, two, three trick. My lower back is having fits at standing up. I would love to figure out a setup that <laughs> lets me sit down while I do lives and still see your comments. All right, let's go, let's go. That did not work. Whew. I'm having a lot of that, but as I said, I did cook in this kitchen tonight. It was probably around 75 or 78 in here, and they really don't pick up as well in the heat. I'm gonna put a bunch of polish though this time so that we know for sure what's making it, what's making it do it. Is it because it's hot or is it just because I didn't do it right? One swipe. One roll. We have a loser. 
So it is the heat. That is a very fine lined image and the thermal expansion has set in. But I'm very stubborn. I do still want that image. In fact, I need several images from this plate. So in the freezer, it goes. Uh, as those of you who have been here the whole time will hopefully believe in my trick by now. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna look back to this. Okay, the heart is what goes on that the, uh, pinky, but I don't think that is, yes, exactly. So um, let's see if I have anything else I can do. I can continue to make this sturdy enough to cut. So I'm gonna use this again, that, that's the hard as nails. I am so glad, Sarah, that it worked. That, I mean, it, sometimes it just needs a second to sink into the cracks. And uh, I don't know how I figured it out. I probably figured it out by getting distracted, to be honest. So I left you all at a total, at a total, uh, what's the word? Um, not a bridge. One of those cliffhangers, cliffhangers. There we go. Sorry, I lose words a lot. I really do want to do some more stamping though, but that is in the, I'm so frustrated. Anyway, why don't we color this guy in? Because we do want to. So we, as we can see here, we used the same polish essentially to uh, color him in. So Actually, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the whiskey latte to color him in. And I'm going to go. This one, we are just coloring the center in. That's all we really have to worry about. I did not set the timer for that plate that is freezing. So I hope I don't go get it too soon. So I left you at a cliffhanger. We heard footsteps and there were the kind of footsteps that I knew were real footsteps because the stairs were kind of shaking as because they're really thin, narrow stairs to get to the basement. It's one of those houses where it's like a tiny little corridor going downstairs. And we, I heard the whole thing shaking, like just a little bit of the kitchen. And these were heavy footsteps. They were not, they were not light footsteps. And so I'm kind of freaking out. And I say, Steve, just whatever you do, don't, don't hang up. I need you to, you know, I need you to be on the phone with me. Cause I hear, I'm hearing footsteps and, um, I don't think it's mom and dad because they don't sound like that. But I did have that thought when I'm, you know, if, but if I was caught on the phone at, you know, one, one 30 in the morning, no, actually this makes it even spookier. I think it was 3 AM. And if you watch ghost shows and stuff, you know, that 3 AM is kind of, um, the perfect time for these kind of weird things to happen. So anyway, serious, loud footsteps, and I'm kind of freaking out. Um, so I wait, but the door that you need to open in order to get from the basement stairs into the kitchen on the second floor or first floor, I guess. Nobody was opening it. They didn't even try. So we stayed on the phone, but I was very conscious that there was somebody at the top of the stairs just staying there. Like, right? Like, I, what do I do? This is crazy. So I, I tell... Um, I, I couldn't go, like we didn't have a cordless phone, right? So I couldn't go in there to check on it. So I just sort of, we talked about other things and I just worked on being casual. I'm going to get the thing out of the freezer now. We just worked on being casual, but I can handle this. I can do this. We're going to be fine. I have Steve, even though he's, you know, four miles away <laughs> for real time. Anyway, so I hear a jiggle on the doorknob. And that really freaks me out because it had been like 10, 15 minutes since I heard the footsteps. So I hear a jiggle on the kitchen door and that's about 15 feet from where I was sitting. So I could look over and see 
the handle, <laughs> the doorknob jiggling. I'm going to get a bunch of these done now if you won't mind, if you don't mind. So I, I could see it jiggling. It was physically jiggling. So I said, I told Steve what was going on, how creepy it was. It's not, not happy, really unhappy. Um, and he said, just, you know, just talk to me. Keep talking to me. Don't think about it. And I said, well, that sounds actually like a good idea. I, sh I probably shouldn't think about it. So we see how great this um, image turned out. Look at that. Sometimes all it needs is a little visit to the icebox. All right. And that is something that I never get to show you guys in real time, right? Because I'll tell you in certain video videos, oh, hey, I used this trick. But, I mean, that doesn't really mean anything. I'm, I'm going to give in and use the satin blush and see if it picks up the palmistry hand any better. But I'm going to let it sit for a sec. Just the one Mississippi. And I'm going to go ahead and go. Oh! And here we go, the freezer. The freezer made my dreams come true. We have a winner. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this here. Hope I get it centered. I keep hitting my head on the light. Oh, good, thank you, Ella. Oh, and thank you, thank you for, for saying cliffhanger. That That is the word I was looking for. All right. Um, where was I? Door being jingled. Uh, I leave it in the uh, fridge. Uh, sorry, I leave it in the freezer for about five minutes. Um, that is usually enough to get a difference. Um, sometimes I forget it's in there, and that doesn't really matter. Usually it's fine <laughs> if I forget it. Set it and forget it. All right, now we're going to get another one of these images. We're going to get the heart, and we're going to hope that I can still pick that up because some sometimes when my room is so warm, I kind of have to move in and out back out of the freezer. But I did do the one Mississippi thing here. I put you for these tiny fine images, you put stamping polish on every part of it, one swipe, and you had let I you need to let it sit and you say one Mississippi. Oh, I did. I said 10 minutes, then I then then 10 minutes. Sorry. I, I was wrong. And now we're going to go ahead and stamp this nail with the heart, the anatomical heart. Oh, no. I waited too long. So that's fun. We get to show you how to take care of a stamp that does that. I'm using scotch tape to remove it. Now, that won't work if you used a sticky base coat in order to apply it but it will if you didn't. So I'm just gonna do the heart really fast right now um, without explaining what I'm doing so that I make it under the wire. I really do want it to, really do want it to uh, go on quickly and easily. Not perfect, but it is just a, oh, the stamping plates. I think they're at Butometry. Um, MoU London does also have a, a site that will sell to the US, but um, I get most of my MoU London plates from Butometry. All right, so, and this one again is number 18. This one was plate 18. All right, so, Despite the mild disappointment of the anatomical heart, I'm going to go ahead and top coat that nail so that we can totally be done. Thank you all for hanging out with me for so long. I never thought that you'd let me talk to you for like an hour because I, I don't know that I'm ex especially exciting. Speaking of exciting, I believe we had a story that was happening Okay, this, this gets one more coat and then we're done with what we're doing with him. All right, so so the door jiggles. And I said, Steve, the door's jiggling. And he said, well, just, just be casual. It'll be fine. 
Ah, <sighs> so I, you know, was polite to him and didn't call him an idiot and that he wasn't here and it was not his ass on the line. It wasn't his haunted house, and he probably wasn't in the... Yes, these are MoU Halloween plates. Thanks, Wendy. And he wasn't in this, the position exactly to reassure me. Um, and as I'm explaining this to him, the doorknob springs and the uh, door from the basement into the basement stairs into the kitchen that I can see from where I'm sitting in the living room on the couch opens all the way. Not a little bit, it opened all the way. So now my eyes are glued on that door. I'm not, this is sticky po base, po base coat that, uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, so this, this is uh, not quite the scariest part, but it is, I mean, I freaked out when that door opened by itself. So then I started whispering. I don't know why I started whispering, but I started whispering instead of like actually talking. And I said, Steve, I think there's something in here with us. And I don't. It doesn't feel nice because at the time that that thing opened, that door opened, I felt this heaviness in the room. And it wasn't just a heaviness, it was a dirtiness. Like it felt like if, if I put my hand in mud and then, you know, picked up some lard. And I mean, the grossest things that you can imagine, that is what it felt like. And I, I, just, I just kind of freaked out. So I started singing. <laughs> uh, I grew up Mormon. I left the church when I was 12. Um, but I, I started singing, um, Jesus loves me <laughs> of all things. So I, I sang Jesus love me. It loves me. And as I'm singing, Jesus loves me, which is like, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak and he is strong. I didn't even pay attention to what I was doing. Anyway, so that's how that song goes if you don't, if you're not familiar with it. And I'm just kind of whisper singing it at this point because I am so loud. I do not know that if I could have, I mean, so scared. I don't know if I could have talked normal to save my life. And as far as I knew, I was trying to save my life. So it's open, and what do I see? Well, what I see is weird, because I'm watching it as I'm singing. And there's this, with the feeling of gross, there is this strange black spot. Guess what? We're going to have to go back to the freezer. There's this strange black spot shaped like a man, like a, like a real person. Now, modernly, uh, in a post-occult, podcast world we call these things shadow people but i didn't know what that was shadow people doesn't make any sense i mean it makes perfect sense but i wouldn't have named it that i just called it the thing that was darker oh see and primary that means that you are either a current mormon or a former mormon i think i i don't know anybody else that uses primary um anyway so it was Back to the freezer. It is a comic. It is It is a podcast. So, okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and paint these wings with the blue that I was using. Okay? Because this is a two-toned effect. If you didn't see the original, here we are. So I painted the A-Crew. I hope I painted enough. Let's see. Did I paint enough? I, I did. I did. I only didn't finish the tips of the wings. And then the very tips of the wings are what I'm really interested in painting uh, navy here. Um, so because I use Davy Jones, Navy Jones lockers so much, I'm going to run back to this. Uh, I'm going to run back to this color because this is the color of the actual nails in the Manny. Uh, I ran back to it because I just... Um, I don't want to waste my Navy Jones locker. So I'm putting a little dot here and a little dot here. And I don't know if you can notice, but I really can't see this guy. Um, so what I'm going to do 
is I always just use what I have. I'm, I'm putting it on a dark background so that I can see to paint, okay? And I never put any of this uh, paint on a palette because I hate wasting um, polish. I just let it, I just pick it up from the wand and then use it until that part is gone. And one of the reasons silicone, clear silicone stampers have become so essential to the whole stamping thing is their really great usefulness in situations like this. Because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill in everything that I see that I need to fill in. But also, I'm going to check it from the other side to make sure that while I have this polish open, I'm going to take care of anything I missed. So I'm going to flip this, as Missy Elliott says, and I look pretty okay. So I'm going to set this aside now and move my box, um, and I'm going to clean off my... Uh, it bears saying, I realize that most of you have heard this from me, ad nauseum, but it bears saying that you need to rinse your fine detail brush in water after you rinse it to take off the nail polish in acetone. So right now I've just rinsed that in acetone. And now I'm going to dip it in my water. It's rolled around. And that's how I take care of those brushes. So now uh, they both get another layer, but this this one can't really. You know what? I don't I don't know that this guy does need another layer. I might as well place him while we're waiting for this to dry. So I'm putting away the navy polish, setting it aside again in my put away pile, which is huge. And then I will continue telling you the story. So so I'm glad I'm glad Ella. Uh, so here we go. And I failed to set the timer for the freezer. So I'm going to set it for two minutes while I finish this part of the story. So I see the shadow person. It's tall. It's super tall. It, it's like almost to the ceiling. And it is blacker than black. It is the darkest thing I have ever seen in my entire flipping life. And I am freaking out. And Jesus Loves Me isn't working. So I went to the techniques I learned when I um, had my Wiccan period. Um, and I said, okay. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see a bright light around myself and I'm going to imagine that bright light filling the room. And as I'm working on visualizing this around myself, it gets closer and closer and closer. And at this point, I am seriously freaking out because it's very close to me, maybe six feet away. But, it, but at that point, it just sort of stood there, totally, totally motionless. Like, it, obviously, it wouldn't breathe if it's like a thing that's never been human. But it, it, anyway, it was so scary because that gross feeling, that dirty feeling I mentioned earlier, it just continued to sort of get worse. But now I have a goal in my head, right? So I'm, I'm thinking, um, you know, as above, so below let the let us something i was a poet right so l deliver me from this foe uh so that's how i how i did things when i was a teenager so i just make up these little rhymes see how perfect this was now the the freezer time out was perfect i was alone awake in the house so my sisters uh, i have three sisters all younger than me my sisters were all asleep in their bedrooms and um my parents slept downstairs which is why I mentioned that I knew it wasn't my parents because the footsteps were even, even uh, what's it called, worse than dad's, even heavier than dad's. And dad, dad had some pretty heavy footsteps. Anyway, let me see if I have to do anything else with these. I don't think that I do. I think I can set this one aside. But we, I have learned a very good lesson from that. I really do need to... Um, freeze this one or have a, a nice cool room that I'm working in for that particular plate. And maybe maybe that'll be that way for you or maybe it won't. Because sometimes these things really do change on the in the house, in the state, in the climate, you know, etc.
I am having trouble finding my sticky base coat. No, nope, here it is. I use Clingy by Nevermind. And I, I think it's funny. This is probably only funny to me, but um, I call it Clingy. Uh, I'm glad she called it Clingy because I am not ever without it. <laughs> if I am at my work table, I have the Clingy. All right. So now I want maybe something else right here, just at the very top. So I'm going to see if I can get another one of these images. Let's try this maybe mushroom. Maybe, maybe not. What should I do? How about, no, there's a spider web there. I don't want it to be kind of spooky. I just want it to be. Let's try. Well, let's see if I can do the spider without putting it in. I was going to say the oven <laughs> without putting it in the freezer again. All right. And then we're going to still again use this pink that is discontinued. Uh, so I'm picturing what I'm picturing. And I, I start to feel kind of okay. Like not, not good, but I start to feel kind of like I, like I don't feel that gross feeling anymore. So that's pretty cool. So I don't, I know better than to open my eyes. This didn't work. I knew better than to open my eyes. So I just kept imagining it. I, I just kept making it wider and wider. And pretty soon I felt like I was filling the whole room with light. And I, in the meantime, Steve is like, tell me what's going on. What is happening? Because I was quiet during this whole process because I wasn't exactly sure that what I was doing was going to be effective. And I was concentrating with all of my might on what I was up to. And so he's getting worried. He's getting super worried. He's like, what's going on again? I'm going to put it back in the freezer, but that's okay. I have to top coat a couple of these. And I have to do this coat again. Well, I'll do that after the freezer. This is a whole project. I feel like I'm entering the science fair and you're all joining me while I make my project. So bright light, right? So let's use Swift since this is the end of this particular nail. Actually, I don't have to use, well, I'll use Swift. Even though I'm going to mattify it, I'll still use the good one. All right, so light, light within me. I'm picturing it coming from my uh, crown chakra, which is white. I'm picturing it all around my body. I'm seeing my little rhyme that I told you. And, uh, and I started feeling like better, less gross, but also the black thing was kind of sort of fading into regular dark and I could actually see it kind of shrink which was super weird and I don't know that I've heard that before from other people but I could I could absolutely see it shrinking and but I didn't tell Steve, Steve was yelling in my ear until and yeah he disappeared and that feeling went away and um f flipping crazy I'm looking for the Sally Hansen where is it okay flipping crazy I just don't get it so, uh, that is my, and then of course I told Steve what happened and told him what I did. And he said, well, I'm glad you got it figured out. Let's go to bed now. <laughs> and I think, I think he hung up without like doing the sweet nothing, listen to the first person fall asleep, gentle breathe, whatever we thought was romantic in our, um, but <laughs> anyway, but that, that's probably the one I, I remember most, the ghost story from, the, from living next to the cemetery that I remember most. Because it was just so upsetting. There were multiple sensations involved. It wasn't just that it was blacker than black or that it was tall, much taller than a man. It was over seven feet at least. Because I know that, um, that ceiling is like eight or nine feet. And it was pretty close to the ceiling. I'm just using sticky base coat again here. So 
it's just like, what, what on earth was that thing? And what are shadow people? And what are this? And what are that? And I don't know. But I do know that I did feel very much in danger when that was happening to me. I'm very concerned that I didn't put enough a, a crew on here, but I'm going to go ahead and put them down anyway. All right. I'm going to pinch. This is always, if I do, uh, if I'm working on press-ons, I always pinch here. And then I'll just take a little bit of a cleanup brush just to make sure that I don't have to deal with any of the aftermath of the little reverse stamp. I blend it into the nail very carefully with a little bit of acetone, right? And if there are any little white bits that are kind of being stiff, I grab those with the acetone too. And that way I have a neat nail instead of kind of a, kind of a, you know, grody nail. And that is that for the middle nail. And I should be able to, um, I should be able to uh, top coat him, but I'm not gonna quite yet. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Um, and if you're a diehard raise a live watcher, then you might already know this, but I'm gonna use the hairspray trick. I'm not gonna use it under the thing because I've had spray back hit my lens before. <laughs> but I'm gonna be pointing it about this far apart and um, it will set the ink, the ink. It'll set the, it's like setting spray for your face, except it's for your nail. It works very well. You do have to let it dry and you still can't like abuse the top coat. You can't be like 60 strokes and cause anything is going to disintegrate. Any image is gonna disintegrate with that kind of thing. Let us take out the next image for the plate in the freezer. Keep putting it in the freezer, going to detention. All right, so I think that's the end of my story. What do you guys think? <laughs> Would you have been scared too? But I can't believe I got rid of it. Like that's the thing, like the Jesus loves me didn't work for me, but that white light that came from me and my little quote unquote incantation, you know, the sort of incantation you think you're, you're great at when you're 19, Somehow, he either decided to leave or I kicked him out. Pretty interesting. I have a bunch more stories. What do you think, Ella? Oh, yeah. Good. Oh, hey, Lexa. So, I am... Lexa, I just finished a ghost story because I've been doing a lot of um, stamping and fixing mistakes and putting plates in the freezer. Oh, good, sir. Yeah, exactly. That's what it feels like. And it, it is so scary. Um, I have met someone at the cemetery that I was pretty sure was a, uh, like, you know where I, I explained at the beginning where there's this like road that goes downhill in the cemetery and it kind of wraps around and it's at the bottom of the hill and the modern graves are up here on the hill and the 19th century and earlier graves are over here near the creek and near that cave that was um, uh, used during prohibition to store liquor. So, oh, cool. Awesome, Lexa. Yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting story. That's what I have to say about that. Um, I think we're ready to make some cuts. So, um, oh yeah, so I, but I did meet this dude who, uh, so, and because I have put so many layers of stuff, that's why I'm able to handle this like this. So I think this is a total of five layers of clear polish. It's still extremely flimsy, but it is what I need. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be taking two stampers. They do need to be ones that are pretty clear because you're going to use them for placement. I'm taking my embroidery scissors because that's what I've got in this house. And I'm cutting it off over this way because I want a bunch of the, uh, a bunch of the, what's the word? The wing on the, 
All right, let's see. I want it to be put upside down because we want the right side up part to stick up. So there are those. So um, there was this man who was really kind of, um, oh, what's the word? I can't think of the word. He, he was dressed strangely and he hesitated as I walked by. I was just walking through the graveyard. We had a bunch of shortcuts that we, um, that we went on. Where's my sticky? Misplacing my sticky face coat. I'm going to put this pink bone on before I deal with the decal of the moth wings. And I'll show you how I get that all centered too in just a second. Did I put, I didn't put a top coat over this yet because I was waiting for it to dry. So I'm going to use my, nah, I'll use my good one. I'm going to use Swift by Nevermind. And one, two, three strokes, four. Try to keep them as minimal as possible, even though I used a protective layer. So now this should be ready for my bone. Very humorous experience, don't you think? I know that was terrible. I mean, it was even terrible if I didn't say it in a way in which you could get it, because that was just a joke. All right, so we've got this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and put a quick top coat on this. Why don't I just put, um... oh yeah, he went, maybe a boogeyman. I don't know, it was just so weird. He was so stiff and he had really old fashioned clothes on. Like he had like a cravat. A cravat. I don't know why I said it so strangely. And that's like, like Regency England kind of crap. Um, and he had like a, a very long um, jacket and he had a waistcoat on. And it just, it looked, it looked too formal. It just was very strange. And then um, I asked my dad about it. And he said, I, I've never seen anyone around that looks like that. And when I went into the, the rest of, the, of that story is that when I went into the woods, right behind that bit, old bit of the cemetery, the old half from the few centuries ago, um, I came right back out. I had, I had been looking for a ball that we had been throwing around and it had gone missing. And he wasn't there anymore. He wasn't, he wasn't just like not there. But he wasn't walking away on the trail that I could see all the way up the hill. He wasn't walking toward the creek because I could see that pathway too. He wasn't on any pathways. He was just gone. Super weird. Did I get this? I did. I got this. All right. I'm putting it off. I'm really putting it off. I don't want to do this. Um, so here, here we go. I'll show you how I do this. I'm going to take a light blue if I can find it. Probably the endless will work. And I take the nails and I kind of make them kiss. So we've got this look. And I can't make them go too close together because they are... I'm going to have to estimate this. And you can forgive me if I'm wrong. So here and here, was that light enough? Can I even see that? Yes, I can see that. I don't know if you can, but I can. So I see that. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing with a very, very fine brush. And I'm going to make an indicator here. And here. So I've got my little cheater indicators going. Now I'm going to clean this brush and rinse it in water. 
So I hope we're almost done. What do you all think so far? Um, do you want to see more long form lives like this where I, I do a Manny from very start to very finish? Or um, maybe something where I've done half the work and... Whoops, I just got impatient. And I'm going to put some more top coat on and let it truly, truly dry before I touch it again. I should have, I earned worse consequences than that. Anyway, I didn't see any messages pop up, but let me know. Do think about it if it's, uh, if it's fun. Here's a matte top coat. I am going to use this on the pinky one. And then I'll stop procrastinating on... Oh, good. I'm loving, I'm loving that you guys are loving this. Okay, cool. Oh, I, I do understand the not cooking in silence. I actually can't have silence at all. It's very upsetting to me. Like it, I, I don't know. It just feels very loud. If that's, if that makes sense that silence in the house is loud, but that's how that works for me. So this next part is super important. What we're going to do is my trick for these nails where you get kind of an overlap is my trick is that you have to uh, put a little bit of extra room in there for the eye to work. So, oh, I'm, I'm happy. I am so happy that you, well, also, uh, Wendy, I, I used to sleep to my NPR and then that so at some point I started going to sleep during some sort of news thing. And now you can choose that sort of thing, I suppose, like with your podcasts and stuff. But I, news always, I can't, I can't fall asleep to the news. It's all so upsetting. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead and put, put our sticky base coat on. Do or die. It's time. Time to shine. Whew. Okay. I really do get nervous about this because this is the part at which you've worked so hard and you're putting sticky base coat down, which means you can't screw this up because it's you, you basically have to, sorry, I'm sitting down. You basically have to redo some something at some point if you screw this up. Okay, friends, did I, did I top coat the, did I sticky coat the right one or the left one first? I cannot remember. Shoot. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna try the right. I think I usually work from, from right to left. Let's see. All right. So we're looking for those little indicators and I do see them, but I need it to be at the same angle and I need it to kind of be more substantial than what we saw missing. I don't know if that makes any sense, but we need enough to actually show up on the nail you see. We're not going to actually just do those tiny little tip bits, tip bits that are missing. And then I cut off the extra. If you're working with a, on your natural nail, Lantern and Wren sells decal cutters that are quite effective and very helpful. And then you just, before I, before I make this go forever, I am going to put these nails together. try sometimes if i remove these from the nail stands too soon after drying it will kind of screw stuff up but this one looks okay so what i'm gonna do and this is how i do it when i'm on my own is i'm going to make sure before i top coat that i got it right and i kind of got it right so you see how we, we needed a little bit of extra room in there because there's some air between these guys. And you, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. You just, you need to leave a little bit more room for the image to show through. Now I'm gonna grab my acetone again and I'm using my cleanup brush. I just meld, we do a, we do a mind meld with that river stamp. And, um, yeah, so there's that one. Let's hope that I do. The sticky base coat is dead by now on that other one. I took long enough, but uh, let's get this going. Get this show on the road. 
and I can let you folks go to bed or whatever you're about to do at 8 p.m. Central, 9 Eastern. Is it in Mountain? Is it 7 or is it 7.30? I thought there was some time zone that was 30. And uh, I should know this because I took a lot of geography classes in high in Nope, in college. All right. I'm trying to pay attention to these indicators. And I'm. this is also where we really hope I get the angle right. You see? Because I'm trying to think about the other ones, but I don't know for sure. Oh, I put way too much. I put way too much. Oh, 712 Mountain Time. Good. I feel like I put way too much here. So, but... It doesn't look terrible. You see? Looks like I might have gotten the angle right. So I'm going to commit to the bit. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Alright. I need... This, this is a good thing. Now I can show you what happens. This is when you have a little bit of um, that clear coat that you put on your decals and reverse stamps and it ends up on the nail and you're like what do I do with that well I'll show you what to do with that you have to be very careful at any moment you may ruin that nail so I'm gonna I'm gonna blot my acetone for once and brush goes here brush goes here brush goes here brush kind of turns the corner Brush goes here, brush goes here, brush goes here. And the rest of this should disappear in top coat now that it's glued down to the nail because some of that also was kind of standing up. All right, rinsing off my brush in the water because I used it with acetone. I'm so surprised that Gozer hasn't uh, He's, he's actually looking at some books I took in from the garage right now, so I guess we're all spared his plaintive cries. Hey, Gozer, you want to say hi? You want to maybe say hi? No? Okay, Goz Goz, that's all right. He is my buddy. There's this post uh, the I posted on Facebook at some point. He grabbed my hand with his paw and he pulled it into his chest so that he could roll over and go to sleep. I let him stay there like that for like 15, 10, 15 minutes. It was so sweet. All right, I have to put this guy, now that I've used it as a tool, I have to put this guy back on its stand because we're about to mattify the heck out of this place. So this was actually a little bit too flat to be sticky. That does happen sometimes when you use poster putty for a lot. So I'm going to put this down. It was really sweet, Wendy. He's such, he really is. He's so, I mean, he is a really close to me cat. He follows me in every room. A little bit of separation anxiety. He, uh, when I go on my walks every day, as I mentioned, I've been using most of my time walking and trying to work out so that I can make my body stronger. Um, fibromyalgia sucks, but I'm on Lyrica now and things are going better. I'm just trying to get some function back. So anyway, I don't know where I was going with that. Oh yeah. So recently he's taken to watching at the window for the whole time because he's just really, he's just really anxious about me leaving. But fortunately, his his cries are so cute. He does sound kind of like a real baby. So I am surprised that he's not kind of complaining at me right now. Because he doesn't have much food left. All right. We've got this. I actually want to do much better because you can see a little bit of texture here at the top. And that is never good if you're going to mattify it. Never good. Mattifying it kind of, um, not descends, distills, kind of distills, distills the uh, image down to its, its essence. Like 
you know, you, you do make the image kind of stronger when you mattify things. And that's why when I want certain words to show up in certain situations, when I'm really concerned that a certain thing won't show up, I will mattify it and I will see if that helps. So there's that. And, and you'll, I mean, again, with the source material, I've got that original nail that had apothecary on it. Um, and I tried to do that design with the shorter nails. I just put too much of the skeleton on for apothecary to have gone on. You don't have to follow my example there. You can do it right. So, oh, he is playing though. I wonder what he's got. He's got these two like little circle uh, faux fur uh, fat bat faces with these tiny little fabric wings that <laughs> he loves them so much. He also will steal these off of my work table and, and put them around the uh, first floor because I oh, can't let me have anything that's just mine. Not that, not that I really want bottle caps to be something I define as, oh, my, my sentimental connection to my possession. There he goes. He's down the hallway. He's really playing with something. Playing with something. Okay, we've got these two mattified. And, uh, Ah, there we go. So I am Carrie. It is your. I am at the very end, though. I did tell a ghost story, um, but I'm at the very end, so you'll probably want to. Um, so you'll probably want to catch the beginning. I've been here like an hour and sixteen minutes, but people are saying that they're enjoying this. So if you've enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're watching this afterward, tell me if you like the long form. I am very happy to do these for you where I just essentially film myself working on something that I want to make and I just show you the whole damn thing. I can absolutely do that and I'd be happy to. So, um, again, this is what I came in with. Um, we're using, I'll put the plates in the description box once I get this uploaded. I know, Donna, I'm so sorry, but I think you'll really like this one. There's a ghost story and Gozer's playing right now. And I, uh, I, I did these originally on longer nails, and then I showed how to do them on shorter, shorter nails. Oh my goodness, he takes off the blue protector sheets. Oh, I don't. Gozer, Gozer actually doesn't like sticky things or stuff like that, so that's fine. He, he'll leave that alone. Uh, but I take, I take the blue stuff off as soon as I get it, even if I'm not going to keep the plate. I, I'll, I'll stop myself if I can, but I, it's. Oh, thank you so much, Lexa. I'm so glad you liked them. Um, let me know what you think about this multi-nail kind of look. I really always love it. I thought, you know what? I bet this one's going to be a showstopper, and I hope that it was. But uh, that is that is it. Uh, leave a comment, a like, maybe subscribe. I'm going to be doing more of these, apparently, <laughs> since you literally all said yes, please. Um Oh, thank you, Carrie. This particular uh, color combo punched me in the face, and I couldn't I couldn't work on this particular project without um, setting down this color combo in paint form before I started working on it. It just it it really did pop into my brain. So anyway, I'm so glad you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. I am still trying to write that book, uh, but I had a migraine the entire. Thanks, Cassandra. I had a migraine the entire uh, first week of National Novel Writing Month, which is part of why I'm I'm doing this. One, I promised Sarah, and this whole thing was her request. But I, um, but thanks, Wendy. Um, but I, I, I feel really sad. I feel like I'm not gonna get a lot written this month, but I'm still gonna try. But I mean, this means maybe I can do a few more things for the for the channel. Um, thank you so much again, and have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.